what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so today i'm making a video about is path of exile worth it to play in 2023 now this has been a big year for rpgs slash arpgs <clears throat> this year has been full of them with diablo 4 you got starfield you got zelda you got all these games that have been updating um last epoch Diablo 3 has been updating and then Path of Exile is a clear winner. So today I want to talk about just how like is today's game, this game for Path of Exile playable in 2023? The short answer is yes, but the long answer involves a lot more detail that I want to kind of go through. Okay, so I have been a big, huge Diablo player for a long time, Diablo 3, Diablo 2, uh, Diablo 2 DR is a huge game in the ARPG space. And Diablo 4 was a huge release this year. And we've already talked a lot about how the fall of Diablo 3 has really just, or excuse me, Diablo 4 <clears throat> has really just left players in shambles and like, well, what do we play next? What's the next game that we play? I mean, you got Boulder's Gate. That's another huge RPG game. So it's been an amazing year for RPGs. Now, when it comes to the ARPG space, because of the lack, um, or, or not even lack, because of the destruction of Diablo 4 from the devs over at Blizzard, it's left a lot of ARPG players going, well, what should we play? Okay, my community got me onto Path of Exile, okay? And I'm going to talk a lot about Path of Exile and how awesome it is. And just some things that I think are really cool about the game. And if you are a player that is struggling playing Diablo 4 or want to switch over, or maybe you're just a, you know, a new ARPG player in general, that this can be a video for you to kind of get you uh, going on a great game because we have about a year and a half, a year or so, year and a couple months until Path of Exile 2 comes out. And when that game comes out, it's going to blow everything away in the ARPG space. So now would be the time to get on to Path of Exile 1. Now, few things about path of exile this game has been out for 10 years okay this game has been out for 10 years it is a super super fun game now there's a few things that i want to mention as i'm going through this so that way you guys got some gameplay in the in here is that this game is a lot to learn okay there's a lot to learn in path of exile and the game can be really really fun once you start to learn a lot of things okay the storyline inside of uh, Path of Exile is actually really, really fun. It's a very long um, storyline, so you definitely get your money's worth out of that. It's just as good as a Diablo storyline, Last Epoch. Um, I would probably say that like D2R storyline or Diablo 2 storyline is probably a little bit better. But you do massive amounts of damage. So let me, let me blow you away by the map here. So we have the map right here. You have two parts that are five acts a piece. So you got 10 acts in total, okay? If you're speeding through and just kind of doing the content, then you can get this done in roughly eight hours. Uh, some people that you know, at the highest level, you can finish the entire campaign in uh, three to four hours if you're really speeding and you got your gear leveled right and all that stuff. But for people who are just experiencing it as, as a new player, probably take you about 12, 12-ish 12 hours, maybe 15 hours to complete the entire campaign. Um, as well as doing all the epilogue stuff um, with the final boss in Katava. So the campaign is very, very thorough. It's very long. So for people who enjoy campaigns in ARPGs, then this is definitely one for you. There's a lot to do on each of the maps. There's a lot of places to visit, and I haven't even visit, visited all of them. Well, I have. I just haven't gotten all the waypoints. Um, so there's so much to do in so many quest lines. You guys can see I still have some quests over here. Uh, and that's one of the major aspects about the game that I really do enjoy is that you have all these quest lines and you can follow them like it will tell you where you need to go. It'll, if you can click the little exclamation point, it'll tell you we're at in the Atlas of World. Hey, you got these quests. And it'll do the same thing when you're inside of these. Like if I click on this, it tells me exactly where I need to go. On my quest line here, the dirty job, it tells me I need to go here to be able to complete it. Okay, so the campaign by far is super fun. Now in the later game... You have so many different equipments. You have so many different things. I'm just going to waste a portal here just to kind of show you guys. You have your entire hideouts here. You have a stash that just has an amazing, so like a huge abundance 
of just gear that you can deposit in here. So many pieces, jewelry, so many different pieces of currency. Like this game has so much stuff to do that it can be a bit overwhelming and that is probably one, if the only negative to Path of Exile, even in 2023. Okay, but as you're playing, there's a lot of good tutorials and a lot of good explanation from the NPCs as well as getting some from like people like me on my channel. We're doing a whole learning series for you guys to get you kind of introduction into Path of Exile. Uh, and just within the ARPG space, I want to just like preface this. This is a free game. You have everything that you could do in other ARPGs such as Diablo 4, but it's all free. Okay, you can craft, you can craft items, you can craft abilities on your gear. You have regular legendaries, you got uniques, you got rares, you got blue items, you got potions and pots that you could use to increase your ability. And you have all these gems that apply to your skills as a rather than going through your entire skill tree. Now, the skill tree is vast and there's a lot to this skill tree, but really once you start to really just follow a guideline to your build it's actually very very easy to understand and it can become actually really really fun to kind of play around with what you want to do and just kind of experiment with different classes and builds okay so path of exile has so much to offer when it comes to your gear your resources multiple end game activities to do such as maps you have heists here heists are very very good Maps is the one of the big end game things. It's the equivalent of doing nightmare dungeons in Diablo 4. Okay, but you got maps, you got heists that you could do. These are very, very cool contracts. They're like bounty contracts to do. Then you have delving, which you can just delve over and over and over again. You just go deeper and deeper and deeper until you want to finish the map. Um, then you have so many different things that you can do as far as your builds. Customizing an entire build is very, very vast. There is far more customization in your builds with your gems as opposed to doing Diablo 4 or other ARPGs which is really kind of just straightforward and just kind of cut and dry uh, but there is so many things and don't even get me started on the bosses in the game you have regular bosses you have uber bosses of that variant you have uber uber bosses of that variant then you have uber 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 bosses of that variant which all make Lilith look like a kindergartner on the <laughs> the entire level of what uber bosses are supposed to be so you have so much to do in path of exile and i think that there this is definitely a game that you should pick up and start playing if you are an arpg player and you want to play some other games now there's some other good ones that you can still play uh there's lost ark that's a good one but it is pay to win in a lot of respects so a lot of people kind of get discouraged from playing that because it's it's pay to win then you have D2R, still a very strong game. You have Diablo 3 with all its new updates. And then, of course, you could still stick with um, Diablo 4 if you really, really wanted to. Uh, you have Last Epoch, which is getting major updates, which makes the game <clears throat> super fun. It's still not on full release, but there's a lot of updates that you can get from the game, and I'm not paying attention, so I just died. Go back in and just wipe this up. Uh, to where you can have a lot of fun in the ARPG space. So, I'm having a blast, guys. This is a very short video. I didn't want to make it too long. But there is so much to do in uh, PoE or Path of Exile. And I think that if you are an ARPG player, this is definitely something you should pick up and just try out. Go through the campaign, have a blast, and just really enjoy the game and consume it in, you know, in all of its entirety. Uh, because right now we have one of the best years for RPGs and ARPGs in gaming. And it just, it really sucks to see some of them just kind of fall off a cliff. And I, I, t I like dashed in there and just got one shot in. It was very weird. And I'm losing EXP, which sucks. But yeah, guys. So get in, have some fun, try Path of Exile. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you are an experienced. You know, this video just came across you for experienced players. If you're a brand new uh, player. Feel free to check out videos. We're going to have a whole learning series on the game. <clears throat> and make sure to come across the streams, guys, here live on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.